Let's see an example of how this can be applied. I'll answer this question. <laughs> yeah, so the question is whether the fourth derivative always gives you the original function back like what happened here. No, that's very, very special to sines and cosines, right? And in fact, let's see an example of that. I'll do, the, I'll do a calculation. Let's calculate the nth derivative of x to the n. Okay, n is a number like one, two, three, four. So here we go, let's do this. So let's do this bit by bit. What's the first derivative of x to the n? So everybody knows this. I'm just using a new notation, this capital D notation. So it's n x to the n minus one. And now you know, by the way, n could be a negative number for that. But for now, for this, uh, this application, I want to take n to be one, two, three, and so on, one of those numbers. Okay, we did one derivative. Let's do compute the second derivative of x to the n. Well, there's this n constant that comes out and then the exponent comes down and it gets reduced by one, right? Shall I do one more? d cubed x to the n is n times n minus one, that's the constant from here, times that exponent, n minus two, times one less, n minus three, it's the new exponent. Well, I keep on going until I come to a different blackboard. Now, I think I'm going to stop when I get to the n minus first derivative so we can see what, what's, what's likely to happen. So when I took the third derivative, I had the n minus third power of x. And when I took the second derivative, I had the second power of x. So I think in general, I think what'll happen when I have the n minus first derivative is I'll have the first power of x left over. The powers of x keep coming down. And when I've done it n minus one times, I get the first power. And then I get a big constant out in front here, times more and more and more of these smaller and smaller integers that come down. What's the last integer that came down before I got, when I got x to the first here? Well, well, let's see. It's just two because this x to the first power occurred as the derivative of x squared and the coefficient of that is in front of that is two. So that's what you get. The numbers n, n minus one and so on down to two times x to the first and now we can differentiate one more time and calculate what, this is x to the n, and calculate what dn x to the n is. So I get the same number n times n minus one and so on and so on times two and then I guess I'll say times one, times what's the derivative of x to the one? One. one. So times one, if you like, times one times one, where this one means the constant function one. Does anyone know what this number is called? That has a name, it's called n factorial and it's written in exclamation point. And we've just used an example of mathematical induction. So the end result is dn x to the n is n factorial constant. Okay, that's, that's a neat fact. Uh, final question for the lecture is uh, what's d to the n plus one applied to x to the n? Ha, <laughs> excellent. It's the derivative of a constant, so it's zero. Okay, thank you.